guys, coming back to you from Survival Dispatch. A couple new OLITs to take a look at today. The most interesting one, obviously, being the OLAMP. Now, this is a really interesting product because it's really different from everything we've seen coming from Olight. Now, we have seen they had like the O bulbs, which are really cool, and they came out like the Spaceman suits for them, which almost made these like a toy or a desk ornament kind of thing, like really no practical application for the cool looking spacesuits, but they are a lot of fun in my opinion. And that's kind of where the lamp fits in. Like, a lamp is not something you typically see coming from EDC companies. Like all of Olight's competitors, no one's making a desk lamp. So that really does make me interested to find out, like, is that the direction that Olight is heading? Are they heading away from the tactical community and looking more into these cool, like, desk organizer, collector, home decor kind of things? But let's take a look at the lamp really quick because I have been using it for about two weeks now. And honestly, like, really love it. I am not a like super diehard Olight fanboy where I've got the shelves with all the, I have to have every single different color, but I do think they make some cool products and I've really been enjoying this. Um, it's been on my desk again about two weeks. It's got a couple different features. The first one is it's got like an anti-spill feature that's not working as well on this table. But if you look, if you go tap it, it, you can break it free, but it's got that like suction cup on the bottom and it kind of holds it to the table. So if you do bump it, you're not just gonna knock it over, which is helpful with something this tall. It has two different lights on it. So it has the body light here, which currently is white. And then it also has the lamp head. So the switch in the bottom here is how you control the body light. Toggling it down turns the white light on and off. And while it's on, you can hold up or down to brighten or dim that light. And if you toggle it up, it goes into RGB mode. Now there's two modes to this. There's the kind of cycling through, which you can see the O bulb over here is doing as well. Just kind of giving you some ambiance in your room. If you toggle up again, it goes to this rainbow and it's still pulsing through the different colors, but now you have multiple colors at once. And this also has the feature to brighten and dim. I typically leave the um, just the pulsing colors on just to give the room some ambiance goes with kind of that cool RGB office feel and then the lamp head there's a button on the back that toggles the lamp head on and off um really cool feature because again it's like having an, a lamp in my office is really useful because just turning on all the lights in the room makes it way too bright but having just the kind of lamps in the corner may make it too dark if I'm trying to read an important document. So having a lamp like this in my office is really nice. And if you hold the button on the top, it does make the head brighten and dim. Let me see if I can kind of show that to you guys, where if you hold the button, it can dim and brighten. There, now it's going dim. Come back up again. The other really cool feature it has though is the head pops off. So if you drop your keys, you drop a pen under your desk or something, you can pop that off really quick and just use it to look around. Now there's no actual actuator on the lamp heads. So you can't turn it on or off from here. You gotta stick it back on to turn it on and off again. But that is a really cool feature. Now this being survival dispatch, I kind of wanted to look at this from a like prepping survival um, kind of component, you know, most of the things, like if I'm looking at the O bulb, I'm looking at, okay, well, obviously you can use it like in a tent, you, it has the magnet, so you can stick it up under the hood of your car if you need to work on your engine in the middle of the night, that kind of thing. Um, what kind of prepper applications does a lamp have? Now, it does have a battery, so you can unplug it, take it with you, and again, it can be like a campsite light. The head of the light doesn't actually work on battery power, at least my lamp doesn't, um, which is kind of a bummer because that's the one thing I think I would really like to have is the general like floodlight and then the spotlight. But you do have that option for a campsite light. And then because it works off a USB cord, if you have a battery bank, then you can have it where the head works wherever you are. Uh, the other really cool thing about the lamp is when you pop this head off, you can see if you're an Olight person, you'll recognize that is the typical, like the charging mag, MagSafe charger. And if you have something like a Baton 3, which now comes without the charging case, you can just buy this light if you want a nice compact light to have for EDC to throw in a backpack, that charges on this. And when it's on the charger, 
the buttons on the lamp actually will actuate the light. So if this is your EDC light, you now have a lamp in your office where your pocket, your pocket flashlight becomes your lamp head and it charges it to make sure that your battery is always fresh and ready to go. Again, if you're an Olight person and that if you're in the Olight ecosystem, this lamp makes a ton of sense just, just for that. And it also has the ability to put your O bulb on there. Um, and now you can see it goes to white because in lamp mode, you don't get the RGBs on the O bulb. The button still brightens and dims this as well as charges it. So again, if you are in the Olight ecosystem, this lamp is just such a cool offering to have. It's unique in my opinion. It's not something I'm seeing other people do. And honestly, it's it's fun to have and it's really useful. Um, if you're gonna do it, get one of these O-Pin minis to go with it. Uh, honestly, they just it's a nice pen. There's no flashlight, so you don't have to worry about it exploding on you. Um, it's, it's tiny, so it fits in your pocket, has bolt action on the side. I actually use this a lot. I was a little worried because I lose things and I wanted to daily drive this pen as my like in my pocket pen. And I was really concerned I was going to lose it before I was able to make the video. So now that I'm making the video, it's kind of nice that I can put this back in my pocket and daily drive it. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the O, oh, the headlamp. Um, I'm gonna call it the O headlamp because I, the Array S2, there we go. The Array S2 headlamp, I was gonna show you guys this last month, you may have seen my really dorky Star Wars video where I used the force to manipulate it. Uh, and then I got really sick, um, possibly with the vid, my test came back negative, but symptomatically probably was, either way I'm back here now. Um, so they have a headlamp if you want to strap an Olight to your head. That The cool feature on it is that it has a motion sensor on it where by waving your hand you can brighten and dim the light you can go between the different modes making it really cool now you do have the button functionality to go between the different lights going to red light uh, it has an sos mode but the hands-free application is a really cool function in my opinion um again i guess you could call that kind of gimmicky but if you're into O lights, then that kind of gimmick probably really excites you because a lot of their lights do have like, I, I call it gimmicks. You could also call it features or functions. But that is a selection of O lights that we have to look at this month. There is going to be an affiliate link down in the description box below. If you're going to pick some up, I appreciate you using our link. If O lights not your thing, totally get it. We're going to have some more lights for you on the store very soon. Either way, guys, have a great day. Stay safe, stay alive.